Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to the garden. Would say welcome back, but I'm throwing you right in here. Uh, today we are here day 14 of flower. Yeah, so the end of week two. And uh, really no updates to show before, except that nice little time lapse. I guess it actually does give you a good uh, amount. That's pretty much a couple days before flip um, up until now. So you get a good idea of where they started and obviously see where they are now looking friggin' awesome. Um, set up for a very good run. So let's get you uh, caught up on what the heck's going on in here. As usual, it's the four by eight garden, um, two lighter four by eight garden. Each side here is rocking nine plants per tray. So nine plants in two gallon fabric pots. Uh, being fed by a drip system uh, using Netafim drippers, GrowLink irrigation controller, the usual. Go back and look at all my uh, just grow room updates if you want to check out that. Um, but we're looking at nine per tray here of two different strains. Um, one of them we started to see last time and we're going to run again here. This is the Sherb Pie. This was definitely the best of them all. Um, I have a caramel apples outside, I'll show you from the last time. The caramel apples is looking friggin' awesome. And I don't have the Kush Sorbet. The Kush Sorbet I kind of lost, more or less. Didn't really lose it, Justin has it, but uh, not getting in the rotation. But from that last run, we have the Sherb Pie. Really excited, and as you can see, freaking booming. Just, oh, awesome, awesome plant. We'll get into how that one was ran. And then here on the left, um, this is just a plant that I have been vegging. It's Glazed Donuts by Schwale. And you've seen glazed donuts on the channel before. Um, I ran, I had, I had like a 12 pack of seeds and I ran 10 of them. Um, and I had some great phenos back then, fantastic. A Couple of them arguably could have been, you know, true keepers, but uh, eventually just ran it a couple times, let it go. Had two seeds and they're, they're, just these two seeds took a beating. And um, I ended up only keeping one of the females both of them were females and I just lost one of them and have this one and this is just, a, this was the one I wanted. If I had to kill off one, I would have killed the other. I have not flowered it. I know nothing, you know, neither of them, but just as a, how short, stocky, beautifully serrated, a nice big broad indica leaves, but also heavily serrated. Um, just really interesting from a grower's perspective. Also, you can see the height difference. These are untopped. These are nine untopped plants over here we'll get to it but these were like topped and then thinned again so um pretty crazy over there anyway nice short stocky plant so i'm really excited to run it and i did actually put one outdoors for about three weeks so I, yeah i it it starts out really nice so excited to get that going so that's by schwale and then these are the sherb pie from mitten master um and mobile j over there in, in michigan so this one is just awesome so both sides nine nine plants but like i mentioned this one was topped early on like i normally do nice down low top single top you know at uh whatever 10 inches tall or however six inches couple nodes up oh irrigation's click on um but then again right about uh right about when i got into flower i hard topped them or, or fimmed them you can see right there just topped and so from there these have did that in order to keep the height down and you know the second topping right before flower to try to keep it down but there's not much you can do to hold this baby back man it just it just wants to boom do you think it helped with evening out the canopy um i always have a little if i had a reflective wall here man it would be freaking perfectly even i don't know why i never do it but uh anyway really really good canopy over here thick tall and probably still a couple days to go we're day 14 this thing will probably stretch it out all the way to day 21 so probably get the canopy close to where the light is now we got some room to go so we should be just fine on that but make sure we prune it up um, but just beautiful beautiful health awesome plant man that's why out of all of them this one is just seems so easy um, haven't seen the flower but excited to the candy apples i'll show you guys candy apples another time you won't see it in this video but maybe you see it on instagram it's that outdoor plant. It's for going oh, I can throw a picture up here. Why not? Ah, just a beautiful plant. Um, but that's from Midmaster too. 
All right, so let's jump over the board, see what's been going on. It's actually been a pretty uh, overall easy run from just feed perspective, but uh, continuing what I talked about last time, a um, little higher EC on the feed. I don't know if I'm necessarily buying it or needing it, but we'll talk about it right here. So, uh, all right, so on the board, the usual glazed on a sure pie, day 14 of flour. Um, and the parameters, standard, 81 degrees. I think that's actually 80 right now is my, my threshold temp, but whatever, 81. Um, rocking high P, high RH to match like a one, anywhere from like a 0.9 to like a 1.2 VPD in the 65 to 70 range. Honestly, right now with the plants, how they are, I'm struggling to keep it under 70. They're just freaking pumping. But uh, defoliation's coming and that will help that out a little bit. With that, I do, I have been running CO2. It just ran out today, so I gotta get some more tomorrow. So conveniently lasts me about two weeks on that one. Um, running 800 PPFD. It's creeping into the 900 right now, but around 800 PPFD. And we're running actually 500, what are we running? Um, I think it's 520 watts per side now. And that's probably about what we're gonna max it out at. Uh, maybe we'll push a little more, we'll see, but um, Run a nice, healthy, good looking plants. Uh, feeling good about it. Don't wanna, don't wanna push them too hard yet. Especially I don't know how these girls run. Um, so pretty standard on the room parameters. Nutrients, this is where I kicked it up just a little bit. I pretty much have ran five grams to three grams um, with a little bit of calcium sulfate every now and then, uh, which comes out to an EC of around 2.4. And so that's up from my like 1.8 to 2.0 range, just a little bit. It's not ridiculously high. Um, but with the Kush Sorbet and the other stuff that I saw last time from Midmasters, they definitely wanted the high feed. And I don't know, I got a couple little issues with the uh, glazed donuts and I can't quite, I think it's just a little bit of mag on this one potentially, but uh, very within parameters. And when we get into the media EC, um, I've kept that much more in check and a little down this run compared to usual. So everything, even though basically n nothing's too much higher over a 3.0 you see, so we'll, we'll get into it. But um, so anyway, the feed is the feed is a touch higher. I don't think it's all right. So here before we get into it, so we're running a 2.4 um, and just at the flip of flower through this stretch. We had an EC range in the media, so in the pots, of 2.9 to 4.1. That was the max we hit was 4.1. For the most part, we were in the 3.6 range for quite a while. And anything over three seems to be very good. Anytime I get over four, four and a half, I seem to, I think is when they start to just get a little too stressed for me um, in the parameters I run. So that's, I'm, I really like that. And then I just kind of changed back, wanted to start changing back to a generative. And I got a little more runoff than I planned last night. And I've actually dropped the EC, it was all the way down to, uh, it actually was down to 2.6 all day today and never creeped back up. So we did get a little bit of a flush and I ran through, I ran through a reservoir. So I know how, I know what it was. It also had to do with a field capacity uh, thing basically as as the plants grow say maybe this was a 60 you know used to be 60 or 58 percent uh field capacity well now it might be like 56 and so occasionally that's the one downside with uh grow length they don't have like an auto sense that would say like hey man it just keeps going and never hits its you know water content we should shut this baby down that's the only thing i could think would be a cool uh fail safe for that um Anyway, drop the EC just a touch, but in general, I think that's gonna save me and it'll let me stack it back up over this next week into the threes and hang out there for flower. And should be, like I say, a nice mellow, not too stressful run on the, you know, quote unquote crop steering side. Should be just pretty much just to keep them irrigated and happy kind of thing and let them do the thing. So both of these, I mean, this is a tested pheno. We're, we're stoked to see what, could, what the flower that I make out of this. And then this is an untested run, I mean, kind of, literally devoting a whole tray to it, but uh, that whole pack was worthy of it. So, excited to see. Okay. 
All right, I think that gets you covered. We're still running the Apaches. These are the ATVs. Um, like I said, running those at 520 watts. And I have looked at a mini split for the room, as I say every year, because it starts to get out. My gosh, yeah, I'm gonna put a mini split here. It'd be a perfect situation up here. I am looking into it. We'll see how it happens. But if it does, um, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna try a reheat hack to see if we can really manage the uh, humidity in here without doing anything drastic as far as cost. So could be a cool project. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's it for now. Um, should go up by the weekend, so have a great weekend. Uh, like, subscribe, and either way, man. I'll see you next time. Peace.